homeowners and aspiring homeowners, the word equity is everywhere right now. According to a recent report, the average homeowner has $300,000 in equity. But what does that even mean? And why should you care? Well, your home is an investment and equity is your return on that investment. So to calculate your equity, you take the total owed on your mortgage and any other liens against the property and subtract it from the fair market value of your home. Okay, but why does equity matter if you're not planning to move? Listen, I just said that your home is an investment. Even if you're not planning to use that return on investment, you should still know what it is. Know it's available to you, just in case. Within the next few years, your home needs may change. When that happens, you may consider upsizing, downsizing, moving, relocating, refinancing, making repairs and upgrades. The last couple of years brought massive equity gains for most homeowners. That equity can be leveraged to make repairs or renovations in your current home or to put as a down payment in a new home. So it makes sense to stay in the know with what's going on here locally and how to best maintain and leverage your equity over time. For most homeowners, the purchase of their home is the largest investment they make. So like, you're gonna to wanna to take some special care to safeguard that from harm, right? Start by routinely checking the value of your home and finding out how much equity you have. I recommend a yearly check. So many websites use their own algorithms to estimate value, but the accuracy of those estimates can vary widely. For example, the Zillow Offers program that used their own algorithm to estimate value and was a huge bust costing the company $880 million. The most accurate valuation is going to come from an expert in that market who can tell the good data from the bad and take human factors that affect that specific property into account as well. Like me guys, I'm talking about me. For $0, I will tell you what your house is worth, help you calculate your equity, and we'll talk about your long-term plans and goals and how that equity can be used to help, whether or not they involve any future real estate transactions. We'll also talk about any upcoming home improvement projects you may be considering and what to keep in mind during those projects so that at the end of the day, they help build the value and equity in your home, not hurt it. So what are your long-term goals? Let me know in the comments and for any specific questions or to find out the true value of your home, reach out.